Hello friends, welcome back to Learning Points. So we are discussing the full stack application with JWT authentication. So for this application, we are using the Laravel latest version and Angular latest version, right? So that is Laravel 8 and Angular 12. We already installed the JWT into our Laravel site and also configured this inside the backend and inside the front end we created some components and also created the login from so in this video i am going to create the sign up from so how we can do this so if you just go here you can see the sign up works that means this text are coming basically from the sign up component so in our previous video we already created the components so i am just using this so if you don't see the previous video i will recommend you please see the previous video so that you will get the full process right so just go to the sign up component.html so you can see the sign up works right so if i just change the text that is simple hello so you can see the hello okay so we already created login form so why not we copy these things into the sign up so just go here inside the login we have a login component.ts and login component.html so let's go into the sign up component.html and paste all the things right and we'll configure these things so first of all just change this login here to register here and this is the register form so right here registration form and just go and copy this here also and here this is the email and password and for registration i need some extra fields that is name and the confirm password so just write here name and it will be name and the type is text and just use this name here that is id and name and from name so email is already ready and now just go here and let's use the confirm password so right here confirm password sorry confirm password okay and here you can use the c password simply and the id also the c password and here i just want to add the name that is password confirmation okay so all are done and we need to add this confirmation here also so all are done now let's see what happened so fail to compile so why this fail to compile so if i just go here and we can see there is error that is from does not exist because we are here we are creating the registration from and we are using this from but the from is not declared so simply just go here the sign of component dot ts and let's copy again from the login component dot ts right so just copy these things and paste it here and i want to add some extra things for name colon null that is by default it will be null and the another field is password confirmation so write in the same way so comma confirm password null okay so let's check again login component dot ts and okay so all are done so now just go here you can see the register here right so here i just want to change something that is here i am just using the submit login function i just want to change submit login to submit sign up okay and let's change the name inside the component file also so submit sign up okay so now if i just go here and we can see the console log so if i just enter some value and just go inside the submit we can see how the value is appearing so just go to the console and name suppose john email john at the rate email dot com and password one two three four five six 
one two three four five six okay now enable the submit button and click on this so we're getting so we can get the html page value into the typescript file now we need to go inside the backend so we need to pass this value inside the backend and let's do the left things before that I want to see some validation here so I just added the summit is disabled or not and if I just add some styling so by default until we are adding any value that will be as a red and if I just add a value it will go as a green so how can I do this is simple design so if we just go visual studio code again and you can see there is separate CSS file for each component so I'm just going to sign a component.css and let's add some class. So here you can see if I just go inside the elements. So these fields are currently not added anything. So if I just go here and let's inspect this. So you can see these are ng invalid. When you start typing something that is shown that time it's become valid so using this class why not we can add the styling so simply just go sign up component.css so just use the ng invalid and the another is dot ng valid so these are the two classes so i just want to add some border here so simply write border and left so just inside the left and let's add the 5px border with a solid and let's add some color so for invalid i just want to add the red and just copy this same style and just paste here and instead of red i want to add the green okay so now we just to go and you can see the red is appear but these are not good so to add only for the fields not the full forms so simple add colon not for from so right here from and just copy this again and let's paste it here not for from so now good okay so if i just start typing on this that is john it's become green right so it's look more professional and it's good right so john at the gmail.com and if i just add some password and just add some password so it's enabled okay and also we'll get the value okay so why not we can do this inside the login page also so simply just copy the style and just go to the login component dot css so just paste these things so we can get also in the login and in the sign up so login and sign up page is done now the next things we will call the api from the laravel so if i check we can see inside the back end we also installed the JWT authentication and in the route section just go the api.php we have created the login or further we will create the registration or all those things so next video we will just call the api and we will try to submit these things into our backend right so if you have any questions about this video please comment in a below comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day